Chad Carnes with MCA Connect, and you're watching another episode of 5 Good Minutes in Microsoft Dynamics AX. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite times of the year uh, because it means fantasy football drafts. So if you're anything like me, you've been running your mock drafts, you've been crunching the numbers, and today, in this episode, in honor of that, I'm going to show you how to use PowerView. Uh, and what we're going to do with PowerView is I'm going to show you how you can take AX data and connect it to uh, outside data sources. So in today's example, what we're going to do is, is we're going to take um, sales order lines, so what was sold, and we're going to bounce that up against uh, the MCA Dynamic Dozen Fantasy Football League. So we're going to take the, the teams, and we're going to assume that each team was responsible for a single customer. So we're going to see, basically, if uh, the amount someone can sell is directly related to how well they pick a fantasy football team. So we're going to go ahead and go into AX, and uh, we're going to jump into uh, our accounts receivable module. We're going to jump into sales orders, and the, and the data that we're going to be pulling from AX today is on the sales order line. So I'm going to double-click the sales order here, and we're going to go look for the field that we want, which is the uh, sales order line net amount. So that's the amount that, that gets put on sales orders. And the link back to our fantasy football uh, uh, participants is we're going to assume that each customer is tied to a customer group, and each person in the league is responsible for their own customer group. So, so now we're going to go ahead and jump over and we're going to uh, enable our OData feed. So we're going to be bringing this in through, uh, through OData and you're going to go to Document Data Sources in the Org Admin and you're going to say uh, New Query, Custom Query, and you're going to go ahead and pull the Sales Line Query. And the Sales Line just will bring in Sales Line data uh, through the custom OData Query. Now, what's nice about the OData is I can actually come in here and I can actually uh, uh, create a filter that can limit uh, what I feed to Power Pivot. But here I'm going to leave it wide open because I want to bring in all the sales order lines, and I'm going to go and activate it. So now I'm going to go go over, and we're going to go ahead and start go ahead and open up Internet Explorer so that we can connect to our O data feed. And uh, I just happen to know my uh, my connection here. Uh, ask your technical resource to help you with that. If you're working on a, on an image, it's just a, on a local image, it's just local host. And you'll notice that here I am and I, I have access to my, uh, my, my query. So you only need to do this the first time uh, to, and when you're building your, your report. After that, it gets saved in your data model in Excel. So now I'm going to go to Power Pivot. I'm going to click Manage. And, uh, and then I'm going to go Get External Data from Data Services. And we're going to say from an OData feed. And go ahead and copy your URL back into your, into your connection. And say OK. And you say Next. So now I'm going to go ahead and say Yes, Finish. And it's going to import 5,000, uh, basically, sales order lines uh, from my demo database. So we've looked at cubes, we've looked at SQL, and now we're looking at O data feeds. Uh, and how and, and we can use all of these to populate our, uh, our uh, Power Pivot reports. So now, so now I've gone into Excel, and I've added this table. And it has my fantasy football teams. It has our, our week one projections from Yahoo, as well as I've put an AX customer group next to each team. So what we're assuming here is that each team is related to a customer group in AX or is responsible for a customer group. So now I've added that as a data model and I've added that as a separate table in my, uh, in my uh, Power Pivot model. So now what I'm doing is I actually went into the sales line and I found the customer group and I'm linking the customer group in AX with the customer group in my table. So I'm creating basically a join uh, between the data. So now we kind of have a relationship between the fantasy football teams and uh, what they sell in AX. So now I go into insert, I say power view, and now we're creating a power view report. So what I'm doing here in the first one is I'm bringing in all my fantasy football information. So I've got the team name, uh, I've got the customer group, and I've got the uh, point total so we can visualize this data. In the second report, I'm bringing in the uh, AX customer group and the fantasy football name, just like I did in the first. And remember, there's joins, there's relationships uh, between these two tables now. But instead, I, now I'm bringing in the sales line amount, which represents the amount of, uh, of uh, invoices or the, excuse me, the amount of, uh, uh, that we want to sell to these particular customers that we've put on a sales order, what we've committed to selling. So now I can put these next to each other. And I'm going to go ahead and put a title on here that just, that just basically says uh, fantasy football versus uh, customer sales. And again, we're just making up this data, but I just want to show you how easy it is to connect to third party uh, sources and create relationships. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring in the AX customer group into the filter, or excuse me, the fantasy football team. And now I can actually, uh, this, I can make this uh, 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 automatic and I can show you the relationships. So I can bring in just the team name. So I can compare five good minutes 
versus uh, Grandpa Kevin versus Mel's team. So, uh, and I can also bring in the AX customer group and I could, I could filter by AX customer group. So again, we create relationships and uh, we, uh, we can visualize the data through Power View. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Five Good Minutes. Um, I hope you were able to see how we can take Power View and Power Pivot and take those data models and basically leverage our AX data with third party data and how we can create joins and create relationships without having to build really costly and really expensive data warehousing solutions. Um, again, we thank you for your time. We apologize for the delay. Uh, we did get your notes and we got your questions. And uh, we look forward to having a successful year, not only in fantasy football, but the continued success with our blog. And we really appreciate your support. Thank you for your time. And I look forward to seeing you next time on 5 Good Minutes in Microsoft Dynamics AX.